Hey everybody, welcome back to The Couch. My name is Melissa and this is Couch Mom Club. Today I'm gonna be doing my third trimester update, just like I promised, and I will let you know what's been going on, what's new, what's popping, why I'm sitting like this. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Hey. All right guys, I made it to the third trimester and I can only be comfortable in so many spots. Like, if I turn a certain way, I'm uncomfortable. If I stand up for too long, I'm uncomfortable. If I lay down a certain, I'm uncomfortable. Right now, this is comfort to me. <laughs> so this is where I am. So if you're like, why is she sitting like that? <laughs> it's because this is like the only way that I can sit comfortably for now. So guys, there has been a lot of changes since the last time I've updated you, which was when I hit my second trimester. And now I'm literally in the week of when I'm going to be welcoming my new baby into the world. I'm thinking about it, I'm just like, wow. <laughs> so I am going to be delivering the baby at 39 weeks or it will be delivered onto me. How does that work? It will, is it? <laughs> it will be presented upon you. <laughs> the doctor shall present the child to me at 39 weeks because that is when I'm scheduled to do my C-section as you may or may not know. So we're going to go in on Friday if I don't pop before then. At this point, all I want to do is get my nails done. <laughs> Anything happens after that, I'm cool. So I have my nail appointment booked, okay? As of right now, I am just waiting and I have a few things to let you know. So the third trimester is your final stretch of your pregnancy. Of course, you might hear things like there's a fourth trimester and that usually happens after you deliver your baby, of course. It's a postpartum um, trimester where you're just kind of still feeling different symptoms, you're going through different changes and your body is kind of getting used to the fact that the baby is now out. Your emotions can be all over the place. There's things that happen as to why they call it the fourth trimester because it is just like, it's a part of the whole story. It's a part of the entire journey. So right now, as you are watching this, I am 39 weeks and my scheduled C-section is for the end of this week before I transition into the 40 week mark. But Guys, it is an exciting time. As you might've heard in my last couple of updates, I really didn't know when the due date of the baby was because I didn't really have a set time as to when I got pregnant, which is a weird story. So if you're out there and you're breastfeeding right now, expecting that to be some kind of a, you know, <laughs> a deterrent. <laughs> or if you're waiting for your period and you don't think that you need birth control of any kind, I'm here to tell you, not so. <laughs> so take precaution. If you don't wanna have back-to-back -back children, you definitely wanna take precaution and do not allow breastfeeding to be your method of birth control and family planning. But as far as the pregnancy goes, there are a few things I'd like to update you on. One of the biggest questions that people ask me is, am I still craving things? Like, what are you craving right now? For me, um, the cravings, like the real serious, I need to have this cravings, those kind of things subsided in my second trimester. But right now, if you so much as mention a certain type of food that sounds yummy to me, I want it. <laughs> and I have no restrictions as to what I am eating. I do not allow myself any kind of restrictions. I just eat it. If I want to have it, I just have it. If I want to have two, I order two. And if Tim doesn't finish his, I'll eat that too. Listen, I am totally indulging because at the end of the day, if I want it, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> there's, no, there's no real explanation for that. But I, I, am, I am noticing an increase in appetite. And of course, this is the heaviest pregnancy that I've ever been. Um, with Teo and Noel, I didn't gain as much. But I really don't know if that will contribute to the size of the baby or if that's just me. This is also the most pregnant that I've ever been because I had my son at 38 weeks and I had my daughter at 37 weeks. So this is this is new territory for me. This is this is quite new. One thing that you want to probably be mindful of are the different aches and pains that your body might go through during your third trimester 
and that is exactly where I am. So I am going to be doing a scheduled C-section, but my body doesn't know that. So my body is shifting and gearing up to deliver, potentially deliver this baby. And that means that I feel everything. My hips are separating. I'm feeling everything lining up in my body. It's a very strange feeling and it, it can be quite painful at times especially like if you're walking or you know you're sitting down too long you're feeling those shifts and those movements baby obviously has very very little room so every single movement is felt and it's felt in such a dramatic way if you've ever been like mid stride and the baby decides to move that can knock, literally knock the wind out of you I decided that I was going to just go ahead and do a little bit of a wash y'all have to forgive me Ooh. The movements are real. At this point, like, you're not even supposed to be able to feel so much movement because there's, like, no space. But this child is on another level. And I am feeling every single movement, not only from the baby, but even the shifts that my body is making in preparation for what is to come. Or at least what my body thinks is to come because, I mean, I'm not going to be laboring, so just... Just calm down. <laughs> you don't have to shift, but that feeling is real. And you can comment down below if you've ever been pregnant and have experienced that shift in your body. You know, it's kind of like, I call it the separation. I don't know, it kind of like feels like my hips are kind of separating and getting ready to give birth to this baby, allow this baby to have a, an easy transition from womb side to earth side. <laughs> Another thing to mention about the third trimester is the nesting stage. I know some women will get into the nesting maybe around the second trimester. This didn't happen for me until a lot later in the game. I literally just finished my nesting period where I was setting things up, getting things together. I didn't feel it as strongly for this baby. I find with Teo, I had more of a sense of urgency to start nesting, but I think that's because his room or nursery was the first official nursery or bedroom that I've ever done for a child or a baby. With Noelle, it was kind of a different circumstance where she had a room after the fact, so I didn't really do much for her. And now with this third pregnancy, because we have one of each gender and we're not really sure where the baby will sleep as they get older, we didn't do too much of a nesting period for the baby but we did a lot around the house where we you know we changed out some of our furniture we got new rugs things like that and we even made some other upgrades and updates to the different decor and style and schemes of the home so we feel like that kind of took the place of the nesting for the baby I mean, Teo got a nursery, Noelle got a bedroom, this kid got a whole house, so <laughs> I don't know what's next to come if we do have a fourth baby, but that is our version of nesting this time around. In the third trimester, of course, throughout your entire pregnancy, you're gonna have different emotional um, roller coasters, you're gonna have different worries, you're gonna be thinking about different things, but I find that in the third trimester, I become the most reflective. I start to think about how the pregnancy has been and I, I get really really grateful just based on how things have gone and the fact that I've come this far I just want to sit and think about for me it's the goodness of the Lord that brought me through and just I don't know I'm, I'm kind of reflective just thinking about what life was like with two and what life was like during this pregnancy and what life will be like when this child is to come. And I just, I don't know, it makes me tear up a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I'm just being too emotional, I don't know. But I do get a little bit teary-eyed. Things make me cry really, really easily. And I just wanna say it's probably hormonal, <laughs> it is. But also, what is to come is, is just an amazing thing, it's marvelous. So I get a little bit sentimental, a little bit emotional. So another thing to mention about the third trimester is that your fatigue is coming back full-fledged. You remember how tired you were during the first stages where baby was being implanted and you were just at that very, very preliminary beginning stages of your pregnancy and you were just totally tired, winded, your body was exhausted, you were just doing the most internally and you felt it. That fatigue is back. I am so tired. I feel like I could just sleep, 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 except when I do go sleep, I just wake up. Because coupled with wanting to sleep, you have 
the thoughts, like your thoughts, and you're, you're just constantly thinking. And even if you're sleeping, for me, I just wake right up thinking about something, and then it's some time before I can fall asleep again. But I am very tired, <laughs> even though I can't keep myself sleeping. I am very exhausted, and I feel like I should just embrace this level of tired because I know what is to come. If you've had a baby before, then you know what that feeling is like, where you're just like, done. After the third trimester and you finally have the baby, you're just like, <laughs> and you're just so exhausted and you feel like you can't even keep your eyes open for, for nothing. Like you're just sleeping and wanting to sleep every chance you get. So I am grateful that, you know, we do have the two day stay in the hospital. So at least I can try to get some sleep. There's not much going on in the hospital, so. I imagine that I will be sleeping a lot. But that is one thing that you can expect in your third trimester. Remember that tired from the very first trimester in the very beginning stages, it comes back and it might get a little worse and more dramatic after you've had the baby. So even though you are not yet lactating, I don't think, I don't think you'd call it lactating, but you will sometimes feel the pressure of your breast expanding and the development of the milk as you get ready to potentially nurse your baby. Now, I find that this happens a lot in the shower. If my bath is too hot, I will literally feel, it's almost like a, like a pulsating feeling where I just feel like something's happening. It's like Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, except it's breast and milk. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like, there's Oompa Loompas in there somehow. I don't know, that's how I, I don't know, that's how I describe it. It just feels like somebody's inside working them pumps and getting those wheels turning for the potential milk. It's like the engine room of the Titanic. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know, that's a weird feeling. Maybe the engine room of the Titanic is a better explanation, but it just feels like things are happening internally and there are um, small working people or things that are grinding um, the gears and getting that milk ready to flow. I mean, I'm already grossed out by the term lactation and I just think I made it worse, so. I'm getting ready for that. <laughs> it's going to happen. I am hoping that I produce enough milk to breastfeed this third baby. And I can tell you right now, I'm already feeling um, that feeling of getting, you know, the milk production already underway. And another thing to couple with that is the water retention. Oh my goodness. My hands, my feet, I'm swelling up like nobody's business. I even had to take my wedding ring off. If you didn't notice, it's been off for a couple of weeks now. And I I just rather I take it off than, you know, they have to cut it off of me. It was a struggle to get it off, so I'm glad I took it off when I did. But my hands are always vibrating. Um, it just feels like, like a tingling feeling because of the water retention in my hands. First of all, I thought that I had like a blood pressure situation happening or that there was some kind of circulation issue. But when I spoke to my doctor, he was just like, it's just the water retention. I feel it even when I walk, it sometimes feels like I'm walking on milk bags or something. Like it's just a really weird feeling. Um, but I feel like that will subside shortly after I give birth, hopefully, and things will go back to normal. I know with my hands, it's kind of weird because I braid hair and I'm often with a client and there's times when the hairstyle will take me a little bit longer because I have to give my hand a minute every now and then to kind of cool off because of the feeling. I can't really braid while my hand is tingling. So it's like, okay, give me a second. I have to like literally hold my hand up in the air to let the circulation kind of flow through and for the tingling to subside. But I'm hoping that after the baby comes, that will just completely go away. Another thing is the back pain. Oh boy, oh boy. The back pain is for real, yo. It is just one of those things that has to happen. You're, you're front heavy, I guess, because the baby wants to weigh you down this way, so you kind of overcompensate by 
you know, holding holding the baby up, arching your back. Something that can really help in, in this case, which I didn't get, is a belly band. I thought about it so many times. Should I buy a belly band? Should I not? I, I opted not to get it, but I think that if I were to get pregnant again and have another baby, I'm definitely going to get a belly band because even if Tim like were to come behind and just kind of hold my belly up, I just feel such relief. It is not even funny. I feel it in my back, the relief. I feel it in the front, the relief. It's just amazing how much a brace or a band would be able to just alleviate you of some of your pain. So if you are feeling a lot of pressure in your back, maybe a belly band is something that you might consider. I definitely considered it, but I opted not to get one. But I think if I go around again and come back to this place, I will be getting a belly band. So besides the aches and pains and getting ready to deliver your baby, there is a lot of excitement around this time of your pregnancy. The people that have been in your village and in your corner supporting you from the very beginning are starting to get excited. You of course are buying all the cute little things and you know, washing and folding and putting everything away. And it is just a really, really exciting time. I am very excited to welcome this third baby. And I know that if you are expecting that you will be either right here where I am, just ready in anticipation, or slowly getting used to it, the idea that you're gonna have a baby. <laughs> so I just wanna congratulate all of the moms and moms to be out there. You guys are amazing. And what is to come is, I believe, the best is yet to come, really. So thank you guys for watching. And that is my update. Oh, before I go, I should do another measurement. Should I? Yeah. Yeah, because I did a measurement for the first two updates. Alrighty then. Of course, I you think that by this time I would have gotten a real tape measure or whatever you want to call it. We did this a complicated way. I'm pretty sure there's an easier way to do this. 42. Ooh, 42. All right, baby. I wonder what my bus line is. That's like the most exciting part. Like, you got little boobies. If you don't have, um, if you weren't blessed in that regard, have a baby. <laughs> you might, you might get a late blessing. But anyways, until next time, here are some really cool Couch Mom Club videos for you to enjoy, and don't forget to join the club. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you know when I post new videos. Follow me on all your favorite social media accounts and don't forget to check out the merch. The links will be in the description right below that like button. And now it's time to get off the couch and into life.